Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location and where you're watching from. My name is Samuel Okoyoja. I'm analyzing the market from the land of the rising sun. Um, this is what we do weekly. If this is the first time you are watching my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, there are criminals roaming around the internet looking for somebody that will scam, somebody that will do. They will come under the comment section and make some promise and make some enticing comments like, uh, uh, like uh, I have been telling with such and such person. Uh, sorry, I have been telling this and, and I was, I was losing money until I made Mr. or Mrs. XYZ. Since then, I have made such and such amount of dollar or Bitcoin. Don't mind them. If you begin to communicate with them, they will deceive you and they will scam you. To make money in trading, you need knowledge. I say it again. To make money in trading, you need knowledge. And I also provide lessons. I have class. Have, I have students, if you, if you want to learn, you can join them. I charge little money, and it is once. You don't pay monthly on my class. You just pay once. Uh, then if you don't want to learn from me, try to learn from somebody who, who will teach you. Anybody that is promising you to make money for you, be careful, because you will likely get scammed. Okay. Um, Having said this, and the, on the, the description of, of this video, you also see links, links to my Telegram channel. I have three Telegram channels. One is for students, two is free. My WhatsApp channel is also free, but I pay more attention to Telegram. So join my Telegram channel is free. If you watch this video, you will get about three, more than 300, 300 videos because I make an I make analysis every week, sometimes two times a week. So you watch them. If you like my my style of trading, you may like to learn from me. You let me know. You pay the two money, and I will teach you. You know this time's time. You need to do what I do, even if you are totally new or experienced. Thank you for watching. Let's go to the business. So this is DXY dollar index. Remember, for the many months now, uh, right from this zone, I was saying that the price will go up. We will likely get to this zone, 108 or 109 or even 110. But, the, but um, I don't think it will keep going. It will keep going like this all the way here. It's possible, but I know at some point it will drop. And I think the drop has started. After dropping, it may go deep, it may just drop a little and go again. So let's take a look at the lower time frame to know whether the dropping has started. So this is the four hours. For this, for this sharp move, it is obvious the dropping has started. With this sharp move, it's obvious the dropping has started. And even if you we go over to one hour. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> if you count this, we can see five waves. Let me try to count it. If you count this, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five. So to me, this is with A. And uh, we will likely get something like, let's say this is with A, a kind of A, B, C. Then we've seen, then we get another drop. So the dropping, in my opinion, have started. So I am looking for sell setup. I'm looking for sell setup. That's for DXY. The same goes to Euro USD. Euro, Euro USD is always opposite to DXY. So let's take a look at Euro USD. Let's take a look. I will, I will not go down to one hour for to daily of hours. Just look at the basis of that day so I can see one, two, three, four, five. So I'm looking for A, B, C, then I will buy. So then 
no need to go into daily and four hours. What you saw on this one is opposite. You can see daily is going down, but it, it's up to, the, to move back up before it goes up to going down. USD card. This T day on USD card. USD card, remember, uh, from this zone, I said I'm looking for buy, and the buy have continued. Now, uh, what happened is that this uh, drop, is it a single drop to go up again, or will it give us a kind of A, that is A, B, C, before buying? So, so let's take a look at the time frame, maybe it will suggest what it is. So to me, uh, this the drop is still possible, but not the guaranteed. Uh, whenever whenever we, we have this type of case, if we don't have experience, I will suggest, I will suggest you wait. Let me let me do something. I will suggest you wait and uh, look for other pays to trade and leave this one. There are many pays to trade. But if you must trade USD card, then I will advise you to look for sell. If the sell does not work, then you can now look for buy. I mean, if you don't get sales at all, okay, let me go down to one hour. Now, all this move, most of the time, you cannot get a sell that goes down. But structural wise, it's possible. Right? So that's why I said you may, you may not trade this one for now. You focus on other pains. Had it been that this move move like this, then I will tell you it will drop. But this one it can drop, but not guaranteed. So there will there will be uh, there will be a sideways sideways move for a long time on USD card. That will be a sideways move for a long time. So it's cause for caution. USD chef. It has been going up for a long time. It has been going up for a long time. So, as I, as I always say, market doesn't go one direction. It will some day, sometime correct before continue going up. So, going down to the lower time frame, let us check the number that we are going lower. So, the I, I, I expect it to give me a three waves move back. Before buying the game. So has it has it started or not? We can see something similar on your USD, something similar on BSY. This move is enough to be with one. Then if you get ABC, it must be with two. So if I get an ABC, then uh it will be a time to sell. It will be a time to sell. But as I was saying, this can be with five, though not well formed, but uh, I assume this is with one, the with two will be somewhere here, then with three, four, five. So my me the message is that if you bought, if you open the buy, if you bought a uh, SDHF, maybe from here, or from here, or from here, anywhere, it's time to close that thread and look for pullback or correction. You may not sell the correction, you may wait to buy again, maybe somewhere around this place. I don't know where it will end, whether it will be deep, I don't know. It can make it WXY. So for now, let's wait and see whether we get sales at all. I would like to sell if I get a nice ABC. I like to sell. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm looking for sales at all. Remember, when you are trading, do I trade? If I if I'm trading counter trade, I use lower lot lower lot size. 
if my, if my, if my loss size is one, if I trade in counter trade, I will use 0, 0 0.5. So that if market comes so quickly, like what happened on USD card, you either go out or break even or, or you lose later. Don't ever put us, you are, you are safe in the position where you will lose big. It's not good. Fancy USD. Fancy USD, the same situation. Let me, let me show you something on, on daily. Remember uh, on daily, we're looking for a deeper move. But as I, I always say, market doesn't move in a single direction. It will sometimes some we are begin to correct. Either it either it, it do something like this, something like this, or something like this. Before continue, if you see it went up, do something like this and going up again. So who knows what will happen here? Maybe something like this may happen for it to drop again. So all these things we will teach you if you join our PIP. So Explain to group, we teach you what you will see in the market, and you expect a reversal operation. So, uh, this move alone is not enough to say, okay, let me go to one hour. This on one hour, this is another five waves. You can see wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. So, if I get an ABC, a nice ABC, then I will buy. But with the lower, with the lower time frame because it's going sorry, lower lower loss size because it is going down. If I get a good ABC, I will buy, and I will. Whenever I whenever I am in, pro, in, in profit, I move my my stop loss to break even, in case if it reverses so, so quick unannounced. Okay, so that's for, France USD, AUD USD. Let's go to daily. So that's what we need to see. Remember this. I said AUD USD will likely give us a new low. Even now, looking at this chart, at least every trader knows about candle formation. If you seeing this, seeing this is enough sign that the market will go down. Or at least it will do something like this. Even if it, it will go down, it will make a correction for going up again. But seeing this film buys, it will still go down. So having shown you this, let me go back. Let me go back to flowers. So let's go back to flowers. What 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 I show you the daily is because this move is unexpected, and if the markets have gotten to its final de destination, this move is an indication that it won't go back again. But what daily is superior to four hours, and four hours is superior to one hour. So I am looking for sell. If I get correction from here, A B C. I will sell again. But if I get sharp move again, I will look for buy. Okay, so that's for AUD USD. Let's check New Zealand USD. The same thing has happened on New Zealand USD. So let me take a look at the daily. You can see daily. I was looking for market to drop. As a matter of fact, I sold, I sold, let me go to, I sold. Using the USD, I sold from here. I expected to go all down, all through. It went down and moved up and caught me on break even. I didn't lose. I gained a little because it caught me on break even. So, all this move, I didn't expect it. But if you watch the structure, it's not out of place. It's not out of place. So, Right now, this is my new invalidation. Now I'm not buy, I'm not sell. I'm looking for sell setup. If I get if I get a good a, a good setup on one hour, I will sell. 
So right now, I would like to sell, if I get a good exit, it gives it off for one hour because I don't have enough food or on, 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 on high time frame that it will to go down again. I don't have it. Unless it give me a confirmed leading, leading diagonal. For now, no, no, no such thing as leading diagonal. I haven't seen it. Okay, so JP225. Remember, let's go to daily. Remember last week I told you that JP225, I think the market was around here, I think here or here, I don't know, but the market was around here last week. I said that I'm, I'm, I'm not comfortable buying this because I, I expect it to go down to this zone. This is one thing when you, when you, are, when you understand the small choice. We will hardly trade wrongly. Because I understand the small choice, I don't feel comfortable. Even, even when I see this, this up move, I don't feel comfortable buying. Because if I am if if the structure is right in my side, after this A, something like A, B, C, I will buy from here and expect this to happen. But I did not because I expect it to drop again. So that's the knowledge we have. That's the knowledge we give you if you want to learn from us. So let's go down to forwards again, or maybe one hour even. Let's check for hours. Right now, I, right now, one, two, three, four. It seems it is making ending diagonal. Okay, it seems to be making ending diagonal. So for now, I will wait. To know if you make any any diagnosis, it means it will be doing this, doing this, then it will now go up. So let's keep watching. So for now, no trade on this. Do I trade? No trade. I don't see trade on this. Depending depend on, on, on how you trade. If you see a trade on this, you go on a table. No, I don't see, if I don't see trade on this for now. So let's you know JPY. Remember, remember what I said last week. The sort have changed. Last week, I think we are here, and I said if I get uh if if I get an A B C, I will say from here. Then I, I watch here again. The sort the sort of changed. It didn't give me that that needed big good A B C to sell. So I did not sell. I did not buy. Right now, the what I have here is. A, B, C, D, E, triangle. But the truth is that I don't like this shape of this triangle. This, tri this type of triangle can fail. So I, I want to get a good setup before I either buy or sell. So for me, I don't have a good, a good setup to sell, but I will not buy. Then if it, if it is the most that I will test this, what I will do is I will sell it at, from the current level and put my stop loss uh my stop loss at the end of with c or with a stop loss here but i i i know i know i'm not comfortable trading this i don't i don't have the shape of this triangle mm -hmm. but if you like to trade it you can after this the stop loss is tight you can if there's any risk worth taking, you can sell it on. If you are a conservative trader, then we do this top loss here. Then why? What does say so? This can be with A, and this can be as with this can be uh um, there, there can be a move like this. Let me let me explain why I say stop loss up there. This move, you can have a move like this. Then it you can invalidate this triangle, then come up here before going down. In in that case, this becomes uh, W X Y. Okay, let me leave, let me leave it here because we are not in a in a training session. We are just uh, we are just analyzing 
he, 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 he want to know more, join my class. I'll teach you everything. USDJPY. USC Daily. The pair has been going up, 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 up. One thing is sure. USJPY will make a surprise move down. What will it happen? I don't know. Maybe something like this. Something like this will happen anytime. And uh, if you if you know, it's not as let's check what it means to have this type of move. Okay, I see 750 pips, almost 800 pips. It can happen within, we see how many days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a week will come when we get this type of sharp move, or even we can experience, we can experience this type of move either. Sometimes we don't know. Because why, as I always say, I get not to go, in a in a straight line, we sometimes correct. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, five waves, and after every five waves, you get three waves correction. Most in most cases, anyway, in most cases, and uh, uh, I have never given up on this. Uh, you know my this A B C so. Sometimes you're gonna get this. You're gonna get this move. But the question is, when will it start to move? Because because of this type of move here, I expect a complex correction or on higher time frame. Maybe sometime this next, next next year we get this type of move, and this type of move I I will not miss it. I know that because I will know when it will begin to happen. Okay, let's continue. Pass JPY. Pass JPY. What do we have about JPY? Uh, daily. Okay. Um, we have five words. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Three, A, B, C. Four. Four and five. Though it seems your four are not finished, but let's take it as your four has finished. But so the 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 I say maybe your four are not finished. So I can I can explain it and the, the, and this video will not be too long. So let me just stop things. Um. So let's watch and see. This dropping to me, this selling is not yet over. So let's go down to four hours. So for four hours, I was discussing with a friend, sorry, with, with, with one of my subscribers on my free channel, and he was asking what will happen. I showed him two things we have. Market was here. I showed him the two buyers we have. And this is what I told him I'm expecting that the market was here. So I'm, I'm still expecting it to make it WXY. So, as expect W, X, Y, A, B, C, W, A, B, C, X, Y. So uh, a big selling is coming, but I don't know when it will start. But I can say if you are buying this, let me, I don't uh, rule this out. This can happen. But to me, I, I'm, not, I'm not expecting it. But if I see it, I won't be surprised. This can happen, this move can happen, but I don't expect it. Maybe it's 10 over 90. 10% it will, 90% it will not. So this, this is what I'm looking for. And this, before big move. Okay, let's go to gold. Gold. Let's go to daily again on gold. Remember, for a long time, I said the gold is going down, but the gold is likely going to 
1845. I think I said this last week. Now I'm going to have put 1844 and not yet over. I also said gold will likely go below 1800. Watch my watch my video of last week and last two weeks. Gold was here when I said that. So if we check how many pips have it dropped since then. 1,000 pips, apparently this is 1,000 pips. So when I say you can learn from us if you want, I know what I'm saying because I know what I'm gonna teach you. So I still maintain good can even go below 1800. But for now, let's watch out for correction. Though it, it will to go, continue going as, in a single man, in a one-way traffic. At a point, you get correction. So I'm not buying this correction. Unless I get an obvious price set up on one hour, then I can buy. So I'm looking for to sell. I'll continue selling gold until I'm sure it's no longer selling. Silver. I, I'd not sell silver with a reason. When you have trained, when you have trained in your eyes, you will always spot a problem before it happens. Now, what what that call pro problem? I saw silver as something that will disappoint. And now, what you could imagine, maybe you sold from here. I'm waiting for it to give you, take profit in this zone. This happens and takes you out, then drop again. So I see uh, something that's not, that's not so comfortable on silver. That's why for three weeks now, I haven't traded silver. And this is the reason. So even now, I can't trade silver. I would rather wait for buy. When, when it's time to buy. So that's what you do when your eyes have been trained. You see things before that happen. Platinum, you see going down. I see expected to drop further. I see expected to drop further. Before I talk about buying, okay, US oil. I, I made a loss on oil. I made a loss on oil. The little money I lost. I sold oil from this place. This is what I did. I sold oil from this zone, expecting something like this and this before buying. Then oil kicked me out. I think I lost maybe 30, 40 pips. I get about on oil. So uh, it have, it has happened, but it will still happen. What I, what I expected will happen because this is with one, with two, with three, with four, with five. The only difference is that I saw this as end of wave five, but it went for the, 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 what, what we call extended wave five. That's what we get. So now, has it ended? Let's check for hours. I think, it, I think it has ended. Now, let me go over to one hour again. Okay. I don't think, I think the, the fifth wave has ended. So now, if somebody has sold from here, though there's no, there's no nice set up from here anywhere. So I don't blame, I didn't sell because I didn't see this at all. But I, I, I don't monitor all the trades all the time. So right now, what will happen is that I'm looking for sales at all, which I've not gotten. Meanwhile, the, the market can keep going down. It can keep going down, going down, going down, and I miss the sell. doesn't matter. You cannot catch everything. But if I get sales at all, oil is one of the I like to take. That's why I sold it. And that's why I sold it. Uh, I sold it from here. I sold it from no. I sold it from here. Then it went up. I hit my stop loss. If I if I go back to daily, you will see this where, where I pointed out. So I I is one of my 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 first trades, but I made a loss on that. No problem. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Uh, what again? US 100, NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ 100 is an excellent trade 
for the past two weeks. The selling is not yet over. I don't need to explain more because I have explained, okay, I have explained much on that. So now we have a, a little positive or so on NASDAQ. My target zone is up here. But this candle seems to be uh, sure that the buying is not over. So what do I do? What do I do is either I sell from here, our stop loss will be very far. I don't like trading where stop loss is far. In this case, I will go down to one hour. Go down to one hour, you see the possibility of the price coming back again to this zone. Because why? This uh, is like leading diagonal one, two, three, four, five. Like it's like in the diagonal, and the, if that is the case, we will get uh, A, B, C, and we get another one, two, three, four, five. By then, it will be a perfect time to sell. Remember, not the most it will happen. I just tell you the structures I'm, I, I'm looking for. Okay, today I'm, I'm, in, I'm just, just giving bonus today. I leave this so many scripts today because who are passing, you catch it. Okay, so. S two hundred. This situation is a another perfect spread. This is my target reversal zone. Here it is reversed, and now what again? It seems it will go deeper before going up. So let's take four hours. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. But this 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 thing I'm looking for may not start now. We may get something like this before we get this move up before dropping. So this is one of the things you don't trade against the trade, the trend. So let's keep our eyes and look for another sell. I close my sister top. Immediately it enters this zone. I closed it. What what, what my best trade last week, I sold all the way from here and closed it here. So thank you. Good trade. We are starting the same thing. Something maybe to to be repeating uh, myself. The have gotten is you see it. This is my reversal zone. So I got to the reversal zone. I expect it to go up then before dropping again. The question is, will, will it go up from here or will it still drop further before going up? That one, what time frame can explain? Like I see one hour, one hour. See, Showing that it will still go down because why this looks like uh, let me today I'm not giving bonus today. Let me tell you why I say it will still go lower for a person. This we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, we have five, and you know, we have C, we have Y. It's always five waves internally. So it will go further before doing this. So, okay. I um, think I have concluded my analysis for today. I, this video is uh, 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 already too long, at four minutes. I, okay. I, anyway, at least you, you lost something. I, 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 I always like my video to end between 25 to 27 minutes, but today, I don't know why I kept teaching every teaching and teaching. Okay, let's go to crypto because I I, I want to make another video today. Cryptos BTC. I wanted to show on crypto because cryptos are going sideways. People like to hear about crypto, but you can see it's going sideways. Daily time frame. It's still going sideways. Uh, you you will likely see this type of move. On Bitcoin, maybe we can see it move to this zone, 28,000, 29,000. When it will go down again, it's going sideways. And that's, that's what's happening in other cryptos. So I don't know what to explain on cryptos. They are going sideways for the moment. Maybe it will end soon. You can see, I will look for set up on Ethereum.
to be good to look for sell when Ethereum enters this zone. If you see the top one here, you sell because see, the tickets are going sideways. SRP, the same thing. If market enters this zone, if it enters here, we possess a top. If you see a good one, we can sell because the market is going sideways. That's how it is with almost all the cryptos. Uh, this guy, BNB, is not left out. It's not left out. You can see it's also going sideways. So if, if price enters this place, set the top can be a good idea to sell. Litecoin, the same thing. Because are going sideways. Litecoin uh, be something a little different. Others are buying. Others are looking at, for buy. It's looking for sorry. Others are looking for selling. It's, it's looking for. Oh my God. I'm not 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 i am what I can do for me is you like, make a comment, then share it on your, share this analysis on your on social media. You might be, be <laughs> helping somebody and you're also making me popular. That's what I want. I, I, I need the popularity. Say something about if you're making profits from my video, say it. If not, say it. Then if you're happy with it, share it with your friends. I want to have thousands of subscribers. I want to see thousands of views whenever I make those because I know I have something value to offer. Thank you for watching. God bless you.